T minus 31 seconds and counting. We have a go for auto sequence start. Atlantis's four redundant computers have assumed primary control of the vehicle. T minus 20. T minus 15. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. We have a go for main engine start. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and liftoff of Atlantis and mission STS-36. Mission Control, Houston. Roll program has begun. That program puts the vehicle in the proper launch plane. Guidance officer confirms good roll. Three engines now throttling back as Atlantis passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. The throttle down that reduces the aerodynamic load on the vehicle. Three APUs looking good, all engines looking good. Velocity is 1,200 feet per second. Atlantis now downrange, three nautical miles. Crew has received the go at throttle up call. That call means that our systems are performing well. The three engines are now back at 104%. Velocity, 2,200 feet per second. Downrange, eight nautical miles. Separation of the following rocket booster confirmed by the booster officer. Atlanta is now traveling at 4,500 feet per second, 39 miles downrange. Flight Dynamics Officer reports nominal performance at this stage. And the crew has received the uh, two-engine transatlantic abort landing call, which means they could reach that transatlantic site on two engines if that were necessary. All three engines are looking good. All three APUs running properly. Velocity is now 6,000 feet per second. Atlantis 86 miles away from the Kennedy Space Center. This is Mission Control. Flight Dynamics Officer reports Atlantis is uh, lined up right on the glide slope over runway 23, about 8,000 feet above the runway now. Winds uh, remain the same, uh, 18 gusting to 22 knots headwind and a very negligible crosswind.
Altitude now about 700 feet. Landing gear is down. Main gear touchdown. Nose gear touchdown. And wheel stop reported by uh, Mission Commander J.O. Creighton. Capcom Steve Oswald uh, greeted the crew with uh, congratulations on a great flight, guys, and welcome back. <laughs>